folks, it's Nate, and I got hopefully a quick one for you today. I'm just recording this over my lunch break, actually, believe it or not. So you may have noticed in some of my videos, especially my fabrication videos, that I've done a bit of footage where I'm using its sort of filler B-roll or footage of myself welding, either in slow motion or whatever. And it's usually like very dark and you can see the, the spark really well. Some people have asked me how I do that. And it's nothing complicated, but it did take me a little bit of research to figure out how to do it, only because I usually film using this guy. GoPro Hero 7. Nothing fancy. He's just an action camera. One of the most expensive cameras I personally own, except for the phone that I'm recording you with right now because I can't record with this. The phone does a pretty good job and I may start incorporating that in some of my videos, but this is my primary shooter at the moment. Um, I have most of my stuff set up to work with the GoPro, so it's also relatively rugged where I'm not worried about some of the situations I might put it in because it's designed to be a little more rugged than something like a phone or a DSLR camera might be. That's not to say I never want to get a DSLR for shop videos and whatnot, but for the moment, this is what I'm working with. It took me a bit to figure out how to get this to record welding footage without a problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what it looks like when I just record normally with this. I'm going to show you how I compensate for it, and then I'll show you the end result. All right, so I've got you about four feet or so away from the thing that I'm welding. This is just an old piece of scrap. I've used it to demonstrate welding in the past, and I'm just going to lay down a quick bead so you guys can see what it looks like when all I do is hit the record button on the camera and change no other settings. So you can see what welding looks like, you know, sort of in normal light. <laughs> Okay, so there are a surprising number of tunings, they call it ProTune, on the GoPro Hero 7. Uh, none of which are actually helpful for this particular thing. What you want to deal with is the exposure, okay? So that's how you get the camera to basically, um, I don't know how to describe this, I'm not a camera professional, uh, but exposure is basically how much light the lens lets in. A uh, higher exposure will capture if you're in a very dark setting, a higher exposure will capture uh, the surroundings better. Uh, if you're in a very bright setting and you have the exposure too high, then you'll get a whole lot of light and your, your image will appear flooded. If your exposure is too low, it'll limit the amount of light coming in and your picture will appear very dark, right? So the GoPro has an auto exposure feature that what it's supposed to do is when you're in a dark room or something and walk into a bright one, it's supposed to auto adjust the exposure so that you don't end up with a very dark image in one room and then a very bright one in the other, or vice versa. It doesn't capture the welding all that well. Um, I'm not really sure why, but it doesn't. Maybe someone who knows more about cameras can tell me why, but it doesn't take the bright flash in a bright room uh, of welding and auto-adjust the exposure. So what you have to do is, um, I forget what they call it, but there's a mode in here where if you just tap on the, I'm in normal like record mode, tap and hold on the screen. Okay, I'm not recording yet, but what I'm doing is I'm just in the mode where you would normally be ready to record and just hit the record button. Okay, now you're in spot meter. So what you can do is point the camera now at something bright and lock the exposure to where it would adjust itself if you were in that environment. So if you're in a very dark room and you set this and lock it and walk into a bright one, it won't auto adjust to, um, to the brighter room, which is exactly what we want. So. You'll see there's a check mark and an X here. That's cancel and accept. Now, what, do you, what I do is I take the GoPro and I point it into something bright, like these LED shop lights, or I've used my halogen shop light in the past. So let me move you quick so you can see what I'm doing. Basically, I point it straight at the light. I tap the icon until it shows a lock. You can see the lock on the screen. And then I hit the check mark. And now you can see everything I pointed at is very dark, right? If I point it right at the shop lights, you can see the shop light, but the rest of the shop appears to just be black. Now we're ready to capture a weld. Okay, you should not be able to see me all that well at the moment, but uh, what I have the camera set to, I didn't mention this earlier, is uh, 4K 60 frames per second. And the reason I do it at 4K 60 is because usually what I do with this footage is I slow it down. You could do it at 120, but the GoPro Hero 7 does not do 4K at 120 frames per second. Uh, 120 gives you a much better slow-mo. Uh, the camera, I believe, also has a slow-mo feature, but I don't usually use it because what I want is natural speed footage in case I decide to use it at natural speed. So, 4K 60, I have the exposure locked to 
what it was when I pointed it at the light. Okay, I'm gonna lay another similar bead down. You should see a much better shot. So, basically, there you go. Um, this is how I film myself welding. All right, folks, so pretty simple fix to what might seem like a complicated problem. How do you get yourself uh, footage of yourself welding? I do want to mention that this is probably not a great way to record yourself if you're doing instructional welding videos, because as you might have noticed, uh, the GoPro doesn't quite get the clarity um, that a nice zoom lens might. The, the GoPro doesn't have an optical zoom on it, doesn't have a nice lens, so you can't put the GoPro in a place, or the camera in this case, in a place where it won't be damaged by welding, because obviously there's a bunch of spatter involved in welding. There's a bunch of danger to your electronics involved in welding. If you put the GoPro, if I put it like right here, so you get a good view of what I'm doing, there's a good chance that some of that uh, slag will hit the GoPro and it could ruin it. If you're using an expensive camera that has a telephoto lens, you could set it over there somewhere where it's nice and safe, focus in real close on what you're doing, and then you get a much better shot. For things like this, for B-roll, for just a quick, hey look, I'm welding kind of shot, it's pretty good. Uh, if you're trying to do something instructional, you probably just want to invest in a better camera altogether. So I hope this has been informational. I hope this has helped you figure out how to make your GoPro record something like welding a little better. And that's it for this one, folks. Thanks for watching. And if you want to see me welding for real, not just on a piece of scrap metal, you should go back and look at some of my fabrication videos, and I'm sure there'll be more to come. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next video. Neat. Power's a little too high there. That'll look fun on the on the video.